Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, tonight I'm going to do a video in response to a request from um, my last video. The subscriber's name, um, she spells it K-O-K-O-K-I-L-I-S-I. -I -I. And she asks, can you do a video explaining in detail what parabens are and why we should avoid it? If so, can you tell us which paraben-free products you recommend and prefer best? So in this video, I'm going to share with you as much as, you know, I know. Um, I, you know, read up on the different, you know, articles and different studies. And again, parabens are a preservative and they're used in lots of products. Um, so I decide actually to grab some of the products that I use that have parabens in them. Um, that way you might be able to see how uh, common it is. So um, with just, you know, my, my makeup, a few things is my MAC blot powder. One of my favorite products, um, the Revlon, these things that a lot of people like. They have three different types of paraben in them. Um, Nick shadows, um, hip shadows, uh, and then you could go into you know sham shampoo. Uh, this is a body wash. This is a toner, leave-on conditioner, hand cream, foot cream, body cream, shaving cream, This is a gentle cream cleanser. Oh, and one of the other things too was the product that I actually just got free at Sephora. It's Creation Spray for Iron Styling by GHD. So this has paraben in it also. So again, parabens are a preservative and they've been known to be very safe you know, for human exposure. I think what's going on though is that the increased use of products with parabens, um, that's what researchers are trying to basically do more research on because parabens basically mimic the same thing that estrogen does, um, that's a hormone. And the breast cancer tumors actually feed off the, the parabens. And so, or they feed off the estrogen, I'm sorry. And so the link, it makes sense that there might be a link to the parabens because, you know, they do have that quality in them that's similar to the hormone. Um, that, that might be, you know, a, a link to, you know, breast cancer, uh, at least like an increased, you know, risk. Their studies have not shown anything, you know, conclusive, like I said before. Um, they're not, it's not proven to uh, cause cancer. They've just basically been linked to um, breast cancer and the tumors. So, um, that's, I want to, I did a little bit of research online and I think that's about it. I wanted to share some of the products and she, let's see, in terms of, you know, product replacements, that, it's kind of hard. Um, what I do when I'm at a store now, I just go ahead and read the ingredient list. And I 
basically now try not to buy anything with parabens in them because I, I have a lot of products. So like I said, I'm kind of trying to go toward a paraben free use. Um, but you know, for now, I basically just cut out mostly like the eye products, lip products, and um, deodorants. So in terms of uh, replacements, this is a toner or an astringent that does not have um, parabens in them. It's something that I found under my sink. And like lip balm, Burt's Bees has a lot of different kind of lip balms. And then there are, um, you know, some cosmetic companies that have, um, you know, mostly paraben free products like Spell Cosmetics. Their foundation and their eyeshadows, blush are, oh, and their lip glosses are all paraben free. All their skincare products are paraben free. So um, those are some of the products that I've been using a lot of lately. And that's really all I know in terms of, you know, explaining them in more detail. I think what I'll try to do though is start, a, possibly start a series of videos where I share um, the things with you that, as I become more educated on um, the, the topic. Um, if there's any of you that are watching this for the first time, like haven't seen my other videos, I wanted to make sure everybody understood that it's a personal choice for myself. And my cousin Teresa um, was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer at age 40. That's, and she's only, you know, a couple years older than me. And both my parents also had cancer. Although my mom didn't have breast cancer, you know, cancer basically runs in my family. So for me, it makes sense to just do all the different things that will optimize, you know, prevention or optimize my health and the prevention of, you know, certain cancers. Um, so that's why I, you know, choose to start like weeding out through all of my um, cosmetic products and even like my lotions and, and stuff like that. It's the cosmetic products, the makeup products that will be a little harder to find in terms of uh, re replacements, but there really is a lot of different lines out there that are even organic or all natural that are really good lines. It's just a matter of, um, you know, doing some research and, and finding them. And I will try to include those also in future videos when I, you know, come across a product that doesn't have any parabens. And, you know, I'll try to keep you guys informed as I become informed. So I hope this video um, was helpful to you. Uh, please uh, comment or leave me a message if there's other specific questions that you have. I don't mind um, doing the research to try and answer it the best that I can. So, but I would love to do that for anybody that has more questions. So, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.